cam, please. Show cam. Yes. <laughs> Twist, turn, let them look. See? They love it. Thank you. You know you're my favorite from your franchise. Thank you so much, and you're my favorite. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, just that was it. I like all the girls. I, I, I find, I find, Potomac, I was slow to the party, first okay. of all. I was very slow, because okay. I didn't think that there was something so glamorous. I heard what you said about us. Well, well, I, yeah, well, I didn't think that Marilyn was a place to watch for what we're used to mm -hmm. with the housewives. And so I didn't watch for a while. And then one day I was too, the, the remote fell on the floor and I was too late to pick it up. <laughs> and you were stuck. And I'm stuck. <laughs> And now, I'm in. I'm excited. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you. I love you. Uh, I can relate to your friendships, and I love, I, I just, I, I, this is my franchise. Yes, thank so, you so much, Wendy. We love you, too. Thank you. So they call you the Grand Dame. They do, and, I, and this is Redemption Day for me, by oh. the way, so thank you for this opportunity. You're Let's very talk. welcome. Let's talk. You're welcome. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> um, <laughs> Where did you get that name, the Grand Dame? Actually, let's be real. I'm glad you asked. Production started throwing that name around, and the girls picked it up. And it stuck with me. Yes. And who else on the show could be the Grand Dame but me, though? Amen. Amen. No. So now they want the title back, and it has to be earned. I've earned it every step yes, you of have. the way. You're, you're real entertaining to watch. Um, and, I, and I like that you own it, and you are really, she's almost like the mother of the house. Yes, I am. Yes. They need mothering sometimes. And you're, you're glamorous that. and Thank you're fabulous. You. And your husband and you just make a perfect couple. I love him. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you. Very distinguished. Very distinguished. Thank you. Karen calls her husband the Black Bill Gates. Yeah. Yeah. We want to talk about that too? Can we start there? Yeah. Okay. Black Bill Gates. Now, all of you women can relate to this. I used to get my hair done at the salon. Ray is in IT. And they called him the Black Bill Gates at the hair salon. Again, production picks that up. Yes. And it's stuck. Ray actually hates it, by the way. He never likes being called that because uh -huh. he's not that kind of man. Yes. But, hey, it is what it is. They know him as the Black Bill Gates and he's all mine. Oh. You know? And you will forever be the younger woman. You're 17 years <gasps> younger than him. Yes, God. I love it, girls. If you're gonna marry a man, this was my second marriage. Yes. I was like, okay, look, I need to be the young chick forever yes. in this relationship. <laughs> And 17 years between Ray and I, and I just did the 56, and Ray is going on 73. God is good. He looks good. Yes, I keep him looking good. Hey, how did you meet that? Give oh, some tips. Let's talk about that. Okay. Um, I had been married before, and Lord knows he was gorgeous, but you know, we, he didn't. We didn't mesh. Okay. We have a beautiful son from that marriage. My mm -hmm. son is 31. Okay. Um, Brandon is an IT himself, doing extremely well. Very proud of you. Hi, Brandon. Shout out. Yes. Um, but I met Ray at the Black Caucus, honey. If you want to change, listen closely. <laughs> we all like shiny things, beautiful things, yes, right? Yes. But I wanted to get married again, so I said a prayer to God. I said, look, I need a man that I can look up to that and is you not afraid of me. And you planted yourself purposely right in the I middle. I certainly did. I went yes. straight to the Black Caucus, honey. Yes. <laughs> you are. Uh, I'm I just saying. I secretary <clears throat> with me, and Ray saw those girls. They were gorgeous. And I said, is he not, is he looking at them or is he looking at me? Yes. Got rid of the secretary. Okay. Kept Ray. 23 see, years later. <laughs> a lot of girls, a lot of girls think that to pop themselves in the middle of a Greek picnic or something like that, that you're gonna meet, uh, you know, the freak Nick and stuff. You think you're gonna meet a man. You gotta go where the men are, the Black Caucus. You have to go to like the Greek, the, the, the Alpha Convention. The, you have the to. Thing, the, de the National Dentist Association. You want yourself a doctor? <laughs> you gotta go where you're uncomfortable. That's right. I was growing, I was in the Oh, were you uncomfortable grow. there? I was uncomfortable because it was something I was not used to it. I wasn't ready for it. There were high-powered people there, very successful, but I wanted to be like them. So in order to be like them, I had to make myself a student of that circle. Yeah, you seem like you were born this way. You're yeah, you're not, it, it, you all came like, together. Oh, wow. <laughs> and thank you for admitting that. Absolutely, no, this is, a, this is work. This well, is how work. did you grow up with like one pot? And then, uh, look. No, honestly, well, one pot, you know, and I love owning God rest my mother and father, they were farmers. But when you say farmers, people actually are like, oh my God, that's a farm girl. And, and they look at it negatively. I lived on 150 acres. Mm -hmm. We had employees. My daddy, I never worked a day in my life. He right. was one hell of a farmer and what one hell of a businessman. Now I'm the middle child, can't you tell? Me too, oh can't God. you tell? <laughs> I'm the middle child, so I, I was always, you know, trying to get their attention. Me too! Exactly, so you know? Yes! So it's normal that I'm like this, okay? Yes! <laughs> 
So, oh wow. So, all right. Um, you're having money troubles now according to, wait, forget the money troubles. I just have to ask you something. Yes. Have you had a facelift? No, I have not. A lifestyle I'm not lift? I'm opposed to it. Okay. I, listen, honey, I believe in tweaking, lift, and do whatever you have to do, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. So when my time comes, I will be honest and open and share that. Yes. No, no. Lunchtime procedures, like, oh, I know. Injections, yes. I love injections. There you go. Because that's less invasive. Well, they call that the liquid face. It really is. It, it really but is. But also, eating right, yes. taking care of yourself, being a good person. Body's really good. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Great genes. Yeah, Every woman in my really family good. has this body. Yeah. It's mine. <laughs> but so, because Giselle, when she was here, I'm <sighs> sure you were watching, she yeah. said, if you recognize Karen, something like that, or, and her new face. <gasps> you know what? Giselle needs a neck lift, but you know. <laughs> Let's just be real. <laughs> however, however, I don't have a new face. You know, I did go through life challenges, losing two parents. I lost weight. Um, and that does. And then I went blonde, Wendy. Yes. I found my blonde. Hello. And that just actually really changes how you look. Now, in person, you don't, you're a beautiful woman, but you don't favor Tina Knowles as much as you do on TV. No, I don't. Uh, but, but, that's a compliment. That's what but I say. You. Yes, it is. Uh, I, it's a beautiful she's a woman. a beautiful woman. And sassy beautiful. like you. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she Knowles esque, though? I've always said that. Yeah, yeah. She's a beautiful woman. Have you ever been mistaken for her at the grocery store, or the airport? No, or no, I haven't. But people will say I do look like her yeah. when I'm on TV. But when they meet me in person, they're like, "Oh no!" Right, no. right. But it's you a look compliment. like you. She's a beautiful woman. Yes. So, all right, let's get to the money. Yes, girl. And I'm Please watching do. you very closely as you I answer. Heard, Wendy. I'm just saying. I'm watching you too. Go ahead. Okay. Lady. All right. So. You and Ray, you're together, you're empty nesters now. Yes, we are. And you're spending and you're grand doming, and suddenly you find out that he owes millions of dollars in back taxes. Yes, it was suddenly. It was suddenly. And um, let oh. me say this to keep it very, very real. Yeah. I didn't know. I'm not his business partner. I'm his woman. Totally different. And a lot of people. Sexy. Hey, yes, I know, that, girl. That's, Hello. that's kind of sexy, <laughs> but. It, it works. But go ahead. But so you didn't, you, you weren't I privy really to any of that? No. Finances. We don't even have a checking account together because I like to spend money. Okay? <laughs> Just say it. I, I love her candor. Well, hey, look, I've been this way for four years. You guys are finally going to see the whole Karen, you know? There are bits and parts of me that you just haven't seen, and my life speaks for itself. Now, Ray, let's talk about that. That happened two years ago. I decided... But it's millions of dollars. Is he paying it off? You're right, and it's settled. They settled it. Okay. I'm still his woman, Wendy. I'm not his business partner. Yes. And it works for me, and we, we made it through. But for me as a woman, let me be very candid. I had to make a decision. I had to put away my spoiled habits for a moment because I had a daughter to put through college, which I've done. She what, you had to buy Coach instead of Dior? <laughs> no, I had to use the old Dior. <laughs> and hey, look, I'm, I'm very, people know this about me. I love, I love a good purse, but nothing's wrong with the real, real. There's nothing wrong with consignment. You gotta do what you gotta do when your man's back is against the wall. And what really pisses people off is that I stood up for him. It was my decision. I decided to stay with him. The girls were like, are you gonna leave him? Are you gonna, no, I wasn't gonna leave Ray. Why would I? Bad things happen to good people all the time, Wendy. All the time. And he settled it and I still got my boo. Um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. You know what I said about the couch? for my new life? What is it? I think I'm making a new friend. I, I think... Thank you. Thank you. I knew you would once we met each other. I, I like you. Love you. Thank you. And How often are you in New York? Listen, I'm all the time in New York. No, we can't go shopping. Yes, we can. Well, no. Yes, we can. If we take off the blonde wig, I'll be black. No, hair. I don't mean, no, I don't. <laughs> No, I don't mean, you know, because people recognize us. I'm talking about financially speaking. Well, honey, I have my coins. So let's talk about that, ladies. My mother is gone, but my mother taught me one thing. Did woman... you move out of your house in the middle of the night? No, was that daylight, your Wendy, and I didn't even move myself. <laughs> I was out of the country. My husband... Where were you going? You have no I money. Was... I have money. That's the point. I have my own money. And thank you for asking that. Child, you know I got money. First of all, people want you not to have your own money, ladies. Have your own money. Yes! Have... I got mine, you have yours, and I live, and I can spend it on Ray if I want to. Was that your mansion? Which one? I've had several mansions. <laughs> Giselle has yet to have a mansion, okay? But God is good. Let's just talk about that. How many hours is it to drive to Maryland from New York? <laughs> oh, yeah. And what is this drive? You should come. 
Uh, I will. I will say five hours. Oh. Five hours. Um, it, if they're traffic is kind, right? They're wrapping me up. The point being is that thank you for being here and thank you for opening up. Thank you. Karen Huber, everybody. The Real Housewives of Potomac airs Sunday nights at eight o'clock on Bravo. She's got a perfume in uh -huh. Bloomingdale's. Yes, popped up in Bloomingdale's. It's called and I'll be La Dame. To you soon. Look, this is a show. I gotta go to commercial. It's called La Dame. It's at Bloomingdale's.